It's hunter chase time and that means a long and arduous week is nearly at a close and it's the Lark Hill Open I think this next one and it's a two and a quarter mile race, two mile two furlongs, 0 to 105 and the top one is Eleanor Rigby for Martin Leadham. Force 10 for Craig Beckwith, Singita, Chrissy David Robertson, Farhana Landes, James Shea, I like him, Matt Rant, Derek Hinton, Tin Pop Boris for Graham Clutterbuck, Ottilia Fleet for Alex Cherry, Sarka for Martin Leadham, Sonny Made Fiction, Thomas Rogers, Batonia Hoos for Ryan Costello, Edge 4 Freeze, Thomas Rogers, Chernick, Ollie McCormack, Harmonic Speedfit, Ryan Costello, Heron Island, Terry Hansen and Zulu Queen, Alex Cherry's a good sized field for this then 15 of them in this 0 to 105 to chase five pan higher than normal and away they go their way down towards the first of the fences and it's Sarka who looks like it's going to be the only one to show then so Sarka's going to take it up that's the winning post with a Sir, probably two circuits to go, I think, in the point to point track. They're not normally that big, are they? So, Sarka is the leader, and I'm pretty sure there's two circuits to go. 15 fences to take. This is the first one of them. Sarka ran straight through the top of it. So, not a good start for Sarka, although she continues to lead with Force 10 in second. Tin Pot Morris is third, and then Batonia Who's after that one with Harmonic Speed Fit. Also, close up Singita Chrissy is going well for Derby winning trainer David Robertson. So, in the Derby on day one, and then a Hunter Chase on day three, and Heron Island is a faller. Uh, that one, so Heron Island's down at the second. So all that 14 left, and Sarka has got a two length lead over Tin Pot Morris, with Force 10 on the inside. The Ryan Costello pair are running closest to us, Batonia, Hughes, and Harmonic Speed Fit. Singy to Chrissy right over on the far side there with Farhana Landes. In the Water jump is next, that's fence number three, which they're all safely over, and Chernick and the top white Eleanor Rigby are the back two at this stage. Also, I like him Matt Ranch for Derek Hinton towards the back as well. That one's running in the right colours this week, which is good, and Sarka is clear by four. It's a big looking play one and Tin Pot Boris has gone there. I think there's probably quite a few people who'd like to see Tin Pot Boris gone, but not necessarily that Tin Pot Boris as they take number six and Sarka is the leader by six lengths to force ten in second and Harmonic Speed Fit and then Farhana Landes and Singita Chris as they take number seven, which they're all safely over and looking towards the back. It looks like Ollie McCormick's Chernick is just a back marker, but it's Sana Sarka who's in the lead then. So you can get the name of your own horse wrong. I think they have done too much commentating in one week. <laughs> Sarka's the leader by six, nearly said six furlongs then as well. Six lengths, so Sarka's in front. Force 10 is second. And Harmonic Speed. Oh, Sarka's gone. So the leader crashes out of the race. That's the second time today we've seen the leader crash out. And my woeful week continues. Not a sniff of a winner yet anywhere. And Singita Chrissy has... Or did have the lead, but Harmonic Speed Fit has now taken it up. So Harmonic Speed Fit is in the lead from Zulu Queen in second. Then Batonia Hoos is after that one as they take number nine. The race is on in earnest now and already down towards the business end of it. And it's Harmonic Speed Fit and Batonia Hoos, the two Ryan Costello horses up the centre of the track with Singita Chrissy right over on the rail. Between them is Zulu Queen. Eleanor Rigby, the top weight, trying to get into it as well as they take number 10. And they're over that one. And there's nothing you'd rule out of this yet that's still standing. And Singita Chrissy on the inside of Batonia Hoos. Then comes Farhana Landes and Harmonique Speedfit. Zulu Queen and Eleanor Rigby are next as they take the 11th. That was a big ditch and they're all over that nicely. And I like him. Matt Ranch is struggling a little bit towards the back. But it's still the Costello pair closest to us with Singita Chrissy right over on the far side disputing the lead. Eleanor Rigby is creep, creeping ever closer. So too is Zulu Queen. Solid Made Fiction is getting into it. So is Ottilia Fleet wide open. This one as they take the 12th. There's a mistake there by Batonia Hoos, but it's Harmonic Speedfit is in the lead. Solid Made Fiction's gone second. Then comes Singita Chrissy and Zulu Queen as they take the third last. And over that one they go. And Harmonic Speedfit's the one they've got to catch. Singita Chrissy is second. The Zulu Queen, Solid Made Fiction, then Force 10. Batonia Hoos trying to get back into it again. Eleanor Rigby can't really catch the weight, then edge four freeze, fire and Landes is dropped away, then Chernick over the second last they go, and it's Harmonic Speed Fit, Zulu Queen no throwing down a challenge, then Singita Chrissy over the final fence, and a mistake by the leader is allowed, Singita Chrissy to take it up, it's Singita Chrissy racing up towards the line, Singita Chrissy's going to take it, fast finishing, Eleanor Rigby was probably third, Batonia Hughes going on for second, and it's Singita Chrissy wins a thriller, and 
no dead heat for David Robertson this time. He's taken it and taken it well. And the Oli Cormac horse has finished really well as well. Chernick on the outside. So all finished in a bit of a heap there then. Let's take a look and see where they've all finished and who they all belong to. It's Singy to Chrissy for David Robertson, the winner. Batonia Hoos for Ryan Costello, second. Eleanor Wrigley Martelly on third. Chernick for Ollie McCormack was fourth. And Harmonic Speedfit for Ryan Costello was fifth.